Jeff Cervantes. Welcome to my channel. This is Street Smart Taekwondo. Let's get started. Okay, today what we're going to work on is a real basic kick that you can use in pretty much any situation in tournament or on the street. And it's called a rear leg roundhouse. With this kick, you're going to be hitting with the top part of your foot right there. When you do this kick, you're going to pick your knee up, turn your body, extend your kick out, pull it back, and step down. I will do it a few times, and a little bit of slow motion here so you can kind of see what I mean. You're going to pick your knee up, turn, kick out, pull back, and down. Again, hands are going to be up when you're doing this, by the way. Pick your knee up, turn, kick out, pull back, and down. And that is a rear leg roundhouse. I'll do it a couple times, normal speed, so you get how it should go out. When you throw this kick out, you want to snap it out, pull it right back. You don't want to leave it out there like that. You want to bring it up, snap it, and back. Okay, so watch, I'll do a couple times quick, so you're coming up. And when we do this, we want to do a thing that's called a key up. A key up is a sound you bring from way down in here to push up. It gives you a little bit more power on your connection. So when you bring it up, you want to kick it <coughs> back and down. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> as you can see how I snapped it, I didn't leave it out there. Again, bring it up as you're turning. <coughs> back and down. Okay, from here, I'm also going to show you a front leg roundhouse. Now, front leg roundhouse is a little bit different, obviously. You're going to be kicking with your front leg. You're still going to bring your leg up. Knee bend, kick out, pull back, and down. Difference is, you're going to put weight onto your back leg. If we don't put weight on our back leg, you're not going to be able to pick up your front leg. So you want to slightly lean back, kick, back, and down. Again, slightly lean back, kick, back, and down. Now, a good, good reason to use a front leg roundhouse is it's quick. It's really good for a tournament kick. It doesn't have a lot of power like the back leg, but it still can get a pretty good snap out there. And it's a good one to use, especially in tournament style sparring. It can be used on the street too, but the rear leg would be a little bit better choice as far as power goes because you want to cause damage in a street situation quick. You don't want a long drag out thing. The other good thing about a front leg roundhouse though is if your opponent's back a little bit, especially in a tournament style, it's a quick way to get in. You can slide in quick, throw the roundhouse, get your point. Now if a person's back with me, we'll say maybe uh, five feet ahead of me, I want to come in like this, kick to get my point and step down. Now if I wanted to hit them with the rear leg when they're that far away, obviously I'm not going to reach them if they're back here. And if they're smart, they're going to back up and get out of my way before I can get there anyway. Maybe come back with a combination and catch me. So with the tournament style, the opponent, you want to move in quick on, you're going to do what's a skipping front leg roundhouse. You're going to slide in quick, throw your kick and down. If you'll notice I'll do the regular motion here. If you watch, I'll come up quick, I'll almost kind of hop forward. So you come in, and down. Again, manage my points ahead of me a little bit. Coming in, and down. That is good for a tournament situation. It can also be used on the street, like I said, for whatever reason, if you got to move in on somebody, for whatever reason the situation is, it is a good kick to use in that situation, if you follow it up with other things, which I'll go into later on other videos. Okay, what we're going to work on is I'm going to show you how this kick works when you're hitting like a shield, and my partner's going to come up and grab a shield, and we'll work on that. Now the thing about the rear leg roundhouse, which is the one we're going to work on first, is how to deliver the most power out of it. Everything has to work together in this kick. You turn, your hips turn, knee comes up, everything twists at the same time. That is how you get your power. And you're going to want to face this way with the target. Good. Okay, now, very important. This is not my target. I know some of you are out there saying, well, what do you mean it's not your target? You're going to be kicking that. Well, I am going to be kicking that, but this is not my target. This is not what I'm focusing on. I'll explain. This is my target, the person holding the shield. This is who I want to hit. This is 
something in my way. You want good power behind your kicks. You don't really want to focus on your target. You want to focus beyond your target, behind it. If he wasn't holding the shield and I want to deliver good power to him, I'm still not focusing on his body. I'm focusing through his body. His body is something that's in the way of my kick going through. That is how you get the most power out of that kick. So I don't want to be lined up right here in front of the target. By the time I come around and kick, my leg is already getting extended. My power is already starting to dissipate. I want to be here lined up with him. So when I come through, my kick is coming through. As you can see, my hips still have room to turn. Okay, this is how you get the most power to kick. Good hard spin, line up with the what you're really trying to hit, and throw your kick. I'll throw maybe just a couple kicks to give you an idea. And again, remember, we want a good key up with it. When you hit your target, good, everything you got, so that first moment when you hit, everything's right there. Okay, and here we go. As you can see, good power, you can tell by the snap. Again, okay, and that is how you get good power out of a roundhouse kick, rear leg. Just remember, focus behind the shield. Now I know some of you probably don't have equipment, that's okay. You can still practice this kick without a target. Just focus your kicks with power. Don't just sit there like, you know, hey that's not going to get you anywhere. You want to get good power, you got to train hard and push hard. You got to kick like you're hitting something. If I don't have something in front of me, I still kick with everything I got. hey That's how you get good power. Okay, now we're going to work on the front leg one. So I'm going to go over on this side so you guys can see. My partner moved that way a little bit. Okay, same thing with front leg, like I told you before. It's not quite as powerful, but it is still a useful kick, especially in tournaments, because it's a quick kick to quick uh, excuse me, quick kick to get in there. Okay, again, this is not my target. Again, he's my target. This is something in the way. So even with this front leg roundhouse, if I want to slide in. First, I'm going to show you the one where you just stand right here. You can come up and kick right there. You've got to lean a little bit on your back leg to get this front leg off the ground. So when you come down, back and down. Now, if he moves that way just a little bit, and I back up, now my opponent's a little bit further away. Remember that other way I showed you to do this is a skipping roundhouse. We're going to skip forward and kick. So I will demonstrate that a couple times. You want a good snap on your leg, snap it out like a rubber band, pull it right back. Don't just leave it out there. You get a little bit more power with that quick snap and back than just kind of following through. Okay, here we go. So from here, quick snap in. Again, quick snap in. Okay, you can rest for a second. Very important when you do these kicks, you want to keep your hands up. Um, we'll wait, we'll stance one more time. When you do kick, if you watch my hands, I never come up like this, hands down, you know, arrogant and stuff, like some people are, but yeah, because you're leaving yourself wide open. You'll see people do that in tournaments. They do that to be quicker, but in tournaments, there's rules. You can only hit people so hard, you can only hit people in certain places. I don't like to get muscle memory in that type of effect. And that's what you get. If you practice like this all the time, it's going to become muscle memory. You're going to have your hands down all the time. I always practice keep my hands up. Because it's very important to come in with a kick like this. Come in, kick, keep those hands up. Because guess what? I got my hands up to where I can do anything else. Elbow, a punch, whatever. Never drop your hands when you're doing kicks. Don't ever think you're so fast that you can get your hands up before somebody else can hit you. Because even on the streets, there's people out there plenty fast enough to catch you open. So you want to keep your hands up at all times. Okay, so that's basic roundhouse, rear leg, and skipping front roundhouse, which is good to get distance on somebody. Okay, uh, now you can practice this, like I said, without a target. It's nice if you have a target or a shield or a partner to hold, okay? 
Just remember, when you do this, give yourself 110%. Don't ever go in there half-heartedly throwing your kicks, you know, like, hey ah, stuff like that. Again, you're not gonna get anywhere with that. So make sure you put a lot of power behind it. Okay, that's pretty much all I'm gonna show today for this video, it's just gonna be really basic. In the future, I'll start showing more and more stuff. I'll show, start showing more street style type things, what, the, what combination to use on the street, and things like that. Uh, very basic, but a roundhouse kick can be a very effective kick on the street. Anybody who tells you that you cannot use taekwondo kicks on the streets really don't know much about martial arts or they really don't know much about fighting bottom line because if you use it right it can be very effective on the street the main thing you got to stay away from when you're using taekwondo especially on the street is head high kicks don't be throwing kicks up to the head stuff like that you're coming up like that kicking high to the head there's a good way to get caught. Somebody's quick enough, they can grab your leg. At this point, you're all theirs. They can grab you like this, punch you right to the stomach, elbow you in the face, kick out your other leg, put you on the ground, and then just ground and pound you. On the streets, you want to keep your kicks waist high at the highest and down. Most, the best way to do it is go for your legs, behind the knee, down by the side of the knee, even down to calves. Those are the best places to hit with your roundhouse. Get it in there quick, snap it, bring it right back immediately. Okay, same thing with your front leg roundhouse. Don't go high with your kicks. Keep your kicks low on the street. In the tournaments, yes. You go high, you can do all those fancy kicks. You're perfectly safe. They have rules in tournaments. Nobody's going to do ground and pound on you. Okay, guys, that's all I got for today. Practice. Get this down. Come back again. Check out some more of my videos. Like I said, this is just a starter up. Once I get going, I'm going to be showing a lot more stuff, a lot of things in the future, a lot more how to get power out of your kicks. We'll, we'll learn stuff about what to do when somebody attacks you, all kinds of stuff. It'll be a great time. Okay, and I am out. See you next time.